Number one, your brain does a panic dance. Picture this. You've just held your breath for a few seconds. Maybe you're trying to impress someone at the pool or just playing a little game with your body's limits. But guess what happens inside that squishy gray thing you call a brain total chaos. When you stop breathing, your brain starts to panic. It's like when you leave your phone at home and you're five minutes away from the bus stop, pure unfiltered dread. Your brain senses a lack of oxygen and with it the potential for a meltdown and it starts releasing adrenaline like it's hosting a rave. Now don't freak out, it's just trying to save your life. But here's the fun part, you're essentially getting a free mini panic attack without having to experience actual danger. Your heart rate spikes, your body starts sweating and everything seems louder like your internal systems are just screaming, what do you think you're doing? Basically, your brain's trying to remind you that air is important, but the good news, it's not a full-on crisis, it's just the body's way of saying, you did something weird, don't do it again. So the next time you hold your breath, know that your brain is throwing a little tantrum, but at least you can say you're not alone when it does. Number two, your lungs turn into drama queens. Alright, so your lungs are the real divas of this whole not breathing situation. When you stop breathing, they throw a fit. It's like they've been invited to the red carpet, but they have to wait in line. Think about it. Your lungs are designed to keep working like a car engine that refuses to take a break. So when you hold your breath, they start sending signals to your body that something's wrong. The worst part, they get louder the longer you go. As your oxygen levels dip and carbon dioxide starts piling up in your bloodstream, your lungs start playing the guilt card. Hey, maybe if you breathe this whole thing won't be so uncomfortable, they plead. They trigger a reflex that forces your diaphragm to make you gasp for air like a fish on land. So what happens next? If you're trying to show off or hold your breath for a certain amount of time, your body starts involuntarily forcing you to breathe. That's your lungs being extra dramatic, pushing you to breathe again because they've had enough of this silent protest. Number three, you get a brain fog filter. Now let's talk about something really fun brain fog. You've probably experienced this in the middle of a stressful day or when you're running on zero sleep. But here's the kicker, it happens when you stop breathing too. After just a few seconds of holding your breath, your brain starts to get a little confused. It's as if you've opened up a new tab in your mind and forgot what you were supposed to search for. The lack of oxygen is like putting your brain on a brief timeout. Everything slows down, thoughts become foggy, it's hard to focus, and concentration goes out the window. If you've ever held your breath during a yoga class and then tried to recite the alphabet backward, you'll understand what I mean. Your brain needs oxygen to think clearly, without it. Well, it's like trying to run a marathon in a foggy swamp. It doesn't work too well. So when you stop breathing for a few seconds, your brain temporarily forgets what it's supposed to do. It's still doing its best though, even if it's a bit on the confused side. Number four, you get a free hyperventilation special. It's like your body's just trying to keep things interesting. The second you finally take a deep breath again, you don't just breathe. You inhale like you've been starved for oxygen, your body's way of compensating for the mini disaster you just put it through. Your blood gas levels are all over the place at this point. There's more carbon dioxide than your system knows how to handle, so your body goes into what can only be described as hyperventilation mode. You start breathing fast and shallow, trying to make up for all the oxygen you didn't get. It's not exactly graceful, it's like your body's trying to play catch up, but it's doing so with the enthusiasm of someone who just ran a marathon and forgot to train. And if you've ever held your breath until you're dizzy and felt that little rush of, I should probably stop now, that's your body's way of saying, let's not make this a regular thing, okay? Number five, your blood viscosity goes rogue. Here's where things get a little messy, literally. When you hold your breath, you're making your blood a little thicker. It's like your body is trying to keep it all in while you take a moment to hold your breath. The reason? Well, the lack of oxygen triggers your body to pump out more red blood cells to try and keep up with the oxygen shortage. It's like your blood is pulling a mini heist trying to make sure it still works under pressure. However, when there's not enough oxygen coming in, your blood becomes stickier to compensate. The thickened blood creates more pressure inside your circulatory system, which is why your heart starts beating faster. This is your body in essence trying to make sure that your oxygen-deprived muscles still get the goods, even if the transportation system is running on a lower efficiency rate. It's basically like upgrading the plumbing in your house, but not installing new pipes. Your blood is flowing, but in a bit of a rushed, sloppy way. So when you finally take that breath, your system is trying to fix the backlog you created. Nice work, champion. Number six, you're almost literally choking on your own, carbon dioxide. Okay, so here's a fun read. Horrifying fact, when you stop breathing, carbon dioxide starts to build up in your blood. Why? Because it has nowhere to go. This buildup triggers the I need air reflex, which is essentially your body screaming, 
Please, please don't kill me with your bad decisions. It's like stuffing a bag full of balloons and then forgetting to let them out. Your body doesn't love CO2 as much as it loves oxygen. In fact, too much of it is a one-way ticket to Panicville. You start feeling lightheaded, dizzy, or even a little nauseous because your system is just waiting for that sweet release of oxygen. So why do we put ourselves through this madness? Well, because our brains like to play little tricks on us testing how much discomfort we can handle before our bodies call it quits. In a way, it's your body's version of saying, you know what, I'm not afraid of a little stress. But let's not do this again, okay? Number seven, you get a little dumber, temporarily. No surprise here, right? When you stop breathing, your brain can't get its fix of oxygen and that's gonna leave you feeling just a tad off. In the moment, your brain goes into what I like to call survival mode, where critical thinking is downgraded to just get air. You lose the ability to think clearly and you might even start to forget basic facts. For example, if you were to ask yourself simple questions like, what's my name or why am I holding my breath, you might find yourself blanking. It's like someone switched off the light in your brain for a second and now you're stumbling in the dark. But don't worry, this isn't permanent. Your brain is pretty great at bouncing back, so once you start breathing again, your intelligence and your ability to do basic math will return in full force. It's just a temporary glitch. So yeah, go ahead and hold your breath, but don't expect to solve any quantum physics problems in that state. It's not a good look. Number eight, your body's automatic breathe button. Get stuck. Ever been in a situation where you just can't stop thinking about something? That's your brain's way of keeping you awake in a kind of obsessive mode. Well, your body goes through something similar when you stop breathing. Once you resume breathing, it's not just a simple deep inhale moment. Your brain goes into overdrive thinking, oh my God, we almost died there. It sends signals to make you inhale more and more. You may start taking deeper breaths than usual, trying to compensate for the time you didn't breathe. It's like your body's personal overreaction, one deep breath turns into 10, as if it's trying to make up for lost time. So if you're ever stuck in a moment where you've held your breath too long and feel like you can't stop breathing afterward, know that your body is just working overtime to keep you alive. It's like a nervous breakdown, but for your lungs, this overcompensation doesn't last long, but it's like your body's overprotective way of saying, don't ever do that again. 